Hey YouTube, what's up? Brandon here with Fishy15.com, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak your iPod Touch, iPhone, or even your iPad running the GM version of iOS 5. So this is for developers only, but if you happen to get your hands on the final release of iOS 5, you come to the right place to jailbreak it. So as you can see here, i got my iPod Touch 4th generation. I'm going to be jailbreaking this with Red Snow 0.9.9 Beta 3, which you can get off the dev team blog. Links will be in the description below right down there. And I will also need the iOS 5.0 firmware for my device. So you can get that any website. Just search it online. Um, I... MZDL has it, and links will be in the description. My website has it, fishy15.com. Tons of websites have it. Just search the internet. But as you can see, you just open up Red Snow here. And right here, we're going to want to plug in my iPod Touch. Head over to Extras, select your IPSW, and select yours. And you should get successfully identified if you get something other than that. So when it says unsuccessful, make sure you have the right OS. So you might have accidentally downloaded like the iPhone 4 one for the iPod Touch or vice versa. Go ahead and hit back and hit jailbreak real quick. Let it do its thing. And this is a tethered jailbreak, guys. So if you don't know what the difference between tethered and untethered, tethered actually means when your device powers off. So if it loses powder, power or you do something with a jailbreak tweak and it actually requires you to actually shut down your device um, you're actually going to need red snow to actually boot it up so in the other menu you're going to actually have to click boot it up you're going to have to plug your ipod in run it and etc so it's kind of a hassle but i don't use my ipod touch hardly anywhere so it won't matter if it powers down because i won't even have it with me so right here you get four options you can install cydia install custom bundle enable battery percentage or enable multi touch task gestures. So I'm just going to enable battery percentage and install Cydia. Right here you're going to want to make sure your device is plugged in which we have already done and you're also going to want to shut off your device by just holding down the power button. Just do a quick slide to power off there and as you can see the little swirly bar went away so we are completely powered off. So now the next step you're just going to want to be a little quick and precise with this. You're going to want to hold down the power button, home button, then release the power button and put it in DFU mode and then the jailbreak process will take place on the computer and your device. So you'll get prompts here. So right when I hit next, hold down the power button for three seconds. Without releasing the power button, hold down the home button for eight or ten seconds. Without releasing the home button, release the power button, but keep holding the home button for 15 seconds, I think that was. And now it will exploit it with Lime Rain here. I don't know if anything's taking place here. And now it is waiting for the reboot. So very, very simple jailbreak process here, guys. It's very easy. If you guys would actually like the iOS 5 downloads, you guys can um, head over to my site, fishy15.com. Um, you go to the download section of my site, and then you can actually um, download the section, and then you'll have all the choices for iOS 5 GM. So you got your iPod Touch. It'll all be right there. Very easy to find it. But you also need the iTunes Beta 7 one. So I don't have that on my site. I'll probably get that up because I'm putting this video up. So just... If I don't have it, just search over the internet. I'm sure you'll find it, but it will be on my site soon, so check that out. As you can see, this is normal. If this is your first time jailbreaking, you'll get a bunch of code scripts running along your iPod, so just let it do its thing here. And now you get this right here. It's moving the applications and just doing stuff with the kernel and stuff. You guys don't need to worry about that. Just don't power it off. Don't force power it off or anything. Just let it go. This usually takes a while, but... I don't really off. don't force power it off or anything just let it go still going here and as you can see now it is jailbreaking the device it's getting right through this process so if you guys like this video remember to hit the thumbs up button right down there hit the subscribe button up there follow me on twitter fishy15 uh tweet me if you want if you have any questions on this um uh, message me here on youtube anything just hit me up with a message i am anything you know um, but if you guys like this video, remember to hit the thumbs up. That really helps um, retweet this on Twitter. And anything helps, guys. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace.